Hello beauties! Today I'll be showing you how to get this look using the products from my Mary Kay Box Box. It features a really sparkly gold eye and a red, reddish orange lip, so just keep on watching to see how I do it. So to start this look, I am grabbing my Wet n Wild Fergie Primer and applying that all over my lid, working it up towards my brow and onto my lower lash line. Now I'm applying some tape right on the outer edge of my eye and following the waterline and lining it up right to the edge of my brow. And I just like to use tape when I'm using gel liner. I find that it helps to keep it a nice and sharp edge. Okay, I'm dipping my blending brush into the color orange soda and working that into the crease. Using windshield wiper motions and working it upwards. This will be our transition shade. Now I'm dipping another blending brush into the color Sienna and working that right into the crease. This will add some more definition and a little bit more warmth to the crease area. So just blend it right in. And keep it in your lower crease. Now I'm going in with the color Truffle and working that right into the crease as well to deepen it up. I'm keeping it mostly on the outer V though and working it in towards the center of the crease. Now I'm using a little bit of Truffle and Black Diamond and that will just deepen up the crease even more. I'm using the clean brush and using that to really blend everything together. I'm also using a little bit of orange soda to help blend everything. Going back in with Sienna, I'm using that right above the crease just to blend it out. Now I'm just patting the color apricot, ap apricot Twist right onto the lid and we're going to use this to sharpen up everything as well and just kind of create a little bit of sharper edges. So just pat that right onto the lid and this is a cream shadow and it's really nice because you don't even have to set it, it just almost dries to a powder like finish and stays all day. I'm using my blending brush to clean up the crease and get rid of any of the cream shadow that got in the crease. Going back in with the cream shadow, I am applying that right onto the inner corner area. Moving on to the gel liner, I am first taking it along the edge and just using the tape to create a sharp wing. Now I just remove the tape once I have the wing created, then I'm going to be finishing off the liner, just bringing it all the way into my inner corner. I already lined my upper and lower waterline and now I'm taking the color Black Diamond and smudging that really close to the lash line, just to deepen everything up. I'm going in with Truffle, I'm going to smudge it out. And with Sienna to add a little bit more warmth, we're kind of doing the same thing on the lower lash line as we did in the crease. Okay, and now I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm applying some mascara to my upper lashes. I'm using the Mary Kay mascara on my lower lashes. I love this for the lower lashes because it really defines them and it gets every last hair. I'm applying my false lashes and using my fingers to set them into place and then I like to use my tweezers to set the inner corner. 
I'm going in with the Mary Kay translucent powder and applying that all over my face. I already applied foundation and so I'm just using this translucent powder to set everything. I'm going in with the bronzer and using that to contour just a little bit but mostly warm up my face. I'm going in with the blush and this has a really nice gold shimmer to it and so does the bronzer. So it really brings out the gold and the cream shadow that we applied all over the lid. So I'm just applying this onto the apples of my cheeks, working it towards my hairline. For a little bit more golden shimmer, I'm applying the Wet n Wild Fergie Highlighter in the color Photo Bomb right onto my cheekbones. Last thing I'm doing is applying the Mango Tango Lip Gloss all over my lips, and I already did have some on, but it was just a light wash, so you can tell that it's a really buildable gloss and it has a lot of color for being a gloss. Alright and here is my finished Mary, Mary Kay Glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something new today. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and to also subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye!